it's not about technology, it's about people and stories. I could show you what recently was on television as a high quality video, 60 Minutes, many of you may have seen it, and it was the now director of the entire piece of the Veterans Administration, who himself had lost an arm 39 years ago in Vietnam, who was adamantly opposed to these crazy devices that don't work. And it turns out that with 60 Minutes cameras rolling in the background after he pretty much made his position clear on this, he had his hook and he had his... He wore this arm for less than two hours and was able to pour himself a drink and got quite emotional over the fact that, quote, his quote, it's the first time he's felt like he's had an arm in 39 years. But that would sort of be jumping to the middle of the story. And I'm not going to show you that polished video. I'm going to instead, in a minute or two, show you an early crude video because I think it's a better way to tell a story. A few years ago, I was visited by the guy that runs DARPA, the people that fund all the advanced technologies that businesses and universities probably wouldn't take the risk of doing. They have a particular interest in ones that will help our soldiers. I get this sort of a, a unrequested, by me anyway, visit, and sitting in my conference room is a very senior surgeon from the military and the guy that runs DARPA. They proceed to tell me a story which comes down to basically the following. We have used such advanced technologies now and made them available in the most remote places that we put soldiers, the hills of Afghanistan, or Iraq. They were quite proud of the fact that, you know, before the dust clears, if some soldier's been hurt, they will have collected him or her, they will have brought him back, they will be getting world-class triage emergency care faster than you and I would be getting it if we were hurt in a car accident in a major city in the United States. That's the good news. The bad news is if they've collected this person and, and he or she is missing an arm or leg or part of a face, it's probably not coming back. So they started giving me the statistics on how many of these kids had lost an arm. And then the surgeon pointed out with a lot of anger, he said, why is it at the end of the Civil War they were shooting each other with muskets if somebody lost an arm? We gave them a wooden stick with a hook on it. Now we got F-18s and F-22s, and, and if somebody loses an arm, we give them a plastic stick with a hook on it. And they basically said, this is unacceptable. And then the punchline, so Dean, we're here because you make medical stuff. You're going to give us an arm. And I was waiting for the 500 pages of bureaucracy and paperwork and DOD. No, the guy says, we're going to bring a guy into this conference room and wearing the arm you're going to give us, he or she is going to pick up a raisin or a grape off this table. If it's the grape, they won't break it. Great, he needs efferent, afferent, haptic response sensors. If it's the raisin, they won't drop it. So he wants fine motor control. Flex at the wrist, flex at the elbow, abduct and flex at the shoulder. Either way, they're going to eat it. Oh, by the way, Dean, it's going to fit on a 50th percentile female frame, namely 32 inches from the long finger and weigh less than nine pounds, 50th percentile female frame. And it's going to be completely self-contained, including all its power. So they finished that, and I, as you can tell, I'm a bashful guy. I told them they're nuts. <laughs> They've been watching too much Terminator. <laughs> then... The surgeon says to me, Dean, you need to know, more than two dozen of these kids have come back bilateral. Now, I cannot imagine, I'm sorry, you may have a better imagination than I do, I can't imagine losing my arm, typically at 22 years old. But compared to that, losing two seems like that would be an inconvenience. Anyway, I went home that night, I thought about it. I literally could not sleep, thinking about it. I wonder how you'd roll over with no shoulder. 